We're going to take a look at application of algebra translates a verbal statement into algebra expression or equation. So these are the phrases that we have to remember as how to change it to the algebraic expression. Just for example, we're going to look at some of these and then you can pause this lecture and make a note of all of these in detail. The first one here is a number increased by 8. So if I want to change that to algebra expression, it would be x plus 8. This is, the, this is the beginning of learning how to work with word problems. You really need to know what all that means. For instance, if I say to write two more than three times a number, you have to write it as 3x plus 2. Two more than three times a number. So these are the ones that you need to really get yourself familiar with. These would be like other examples. Like if I want to know the sum of a number and 7, you write as x plus 7. So these, all of these would be different ways to present addition. Again, you can pause this session and make a note of all these examples. Here would be all the different phrases you can use for subtraction. If I say 2 less a number means 2 minus x. If I want to say the difference of two numbers, we can write as x minus y. These would be the list of the phrases for multiplication. For instance, 16 times a number would be like 16 times x. 2 thirds of a number means 2 thirds times x. All means multiply. So all are different ways to represent multiplication. Here would be some examples. So if I have a quotient of 8 and a number, we write as 8 over x. So this would be the phrases you can use for division. This would be a sum of Again, all the phrases you can use for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So you may want to pause this session and really take a look at all these phrases and make sure, make sure you get familiar with all these. So you can look at some examples. Let's uh, express each phrase as algebraic expression. The radius r decreased by 9 centimeters. So I can write it as r minus 9. 5 less than twice the distance d. So 5 less than twice so it would be 2d minus 5. Next example. 7 times a number n increased by 8. So it would be 7n plus 8. These would be some examples. Translate each verbal sentence into, a, into an equation using x as a variable. First example, the sum of a number and 6 is 28. So the x plus 6 is equal to 28. The product of a number and 7 is twice the number plus 12. So the 7x equal to 2x plus 12. The quotient of a number and a 6 added to twice a number is 7. So the quotient of a number and 6 would be x over 6 added to twice a number would be 2x is equal to 7. So you translate this into an equation. 